I'm wondering if Steve's ain't bigger. All I know is these things are all big. Yep, I wouldn't that's true. Butt pull. If that comes down, man, don't be underneath it. Oh no. Somebody won't get hurt. That come down on somebody. That's the camera, bud. Hmm? Like that. I'm untied. Nice. Dang it. Uh, That's all on video. <laughs> yeah, just come untied. We'll have to put it back in the bucket. Did my piggy fall down? Yeah. We'll blame Jake. We'll blame the grunt. We'll blame the grunt. Hey, I had that thing put. I, know. I had it tied down. And it's all. Well, sure, that buck bull's probably never seen that kind of weight, has it? Oh, yeah. well, did, you, did you hang that? That, uh, you put buffalo on here and everything. I would keep that tag if I were you off your tail. Heck yeah. That's kind of cool. I didn't see that when you shot it. Sorry before. about that. Yeah. You just have to put, a, put six, eight, ten wraps on it and then pull it down. And if you have to, put a loop in it again. Yeah. Because when I pulled the loop through it and held it there, it didn't move. That was moving as soon as you started letting it down. I watched the rope start coming down. Oh, did it? It did. I did. I, I didn't see it either. Steve's, look how far it's dropping. <clears throat> when you're walking over there, you see, if one of these ever comes down, you don't want to be under it, and that one, all of a sudden, that one come down. I heard it fall. Hope he didn't break nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the head, the bottom come down first, so. Oh, he had a question. That's, a, that's, a, that's a, a super huge, ginormous head. That's a right big there. head. That's just a, It'll be interesting to see what a European mount on that's going to look like. Yeah. It's going to look like that one inside only about around it, but it's going to have the big teeth like that. Because you're only seeing about a third to half the tooth. When they do a European mount, it's going to look uh, a lot better yet than what we see. Yeah, I got some both of that pretty, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was Rod had one in, cut a nice little hole, but go all the way in and all. There's a nice little hole. You'd have to feel on the inside to see. Just out of curiosity, can you see that hole in there or no? I don't know, I'm going to try to wash it up with it. I don't think it went all the way in. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. There's damage here, but I don't think it went through. I don't see any water coming out there. There's side. no damage there. I mean, it didn't it, go. It, it just hit the rib cage. Right. It hit the rib. <laughs> Never, Never went through. The ribs. No. <laughs> Definitely a new bow. You need to shoot heavier arrows and a cut on impact rod. That's right. For pace. is everything. Kinetic energy and heavier arrows will really put a little drive into it. Right. Especially with a cut Boy, on say aluminum? Yeah. Well, you, can shoot. you can still shoot the carbon, but you're going to have to have a little different broadhead and all. You know, it makes a lot of difference. I don't like that hook on that one, but it's holding it. Yeah. I don't. I feel yeah, like I don't I'm walking into a death trap. Right, half a dozen of them in there. Right. Now that I think about it, when I, when I shot my bear, I had 150 grain. Uh, well, they make. Uh, uh, big game carbon arrow too, but you get the cheap, you know, get out of the cheap. You want me to turn the camera off, Ted?